the build for the next gen system is progressing very well, according to Guam Fire Department Chief Dan Stone. Recently, the computer aided dispatching vendors were on Guam to continue with the build out. Once that is completed, um, then there will be some required certification and testing that uh, goes along um, with the system uh, that'll take place. And so we're very hopeful that we're going to be able to cut over from our legacy system to the next gen system within the first quarter of the next year. As we reported, the current 911 system has served the island community for well over two decades, and it's on its last legs. And this state of the art upgrade will revolutionize emergency response. Stone said the emergency medical dispatchers have been involved since the very beginning in creating and assisting the contracted vendors to develop the computer aid dispatching user interface. He also anticipates the new year to be fast-paced with more training opportunities afforded to the department. We've um, started our uh, small uh, unmanned aerial system or drones in our, in our inventory. Um, I'm very pleased that that has proven very uh, useful uh, to our organization already. Uh, we've had them deployed out on several search and rescue missions, uh, other activities or other responses that required uh, drone support. Um, I'm also very pleased that as a result of uh, the value that it's uh, provided to us, uh, we identified 16 additional uh, personnel who are currently undergoing um, 107 uh, certification to become drone pilots for our department as well. With a lot taking place in 2023, he hopes it also includes a new cycle for the Fire Academy. I continue to work with the administration to, to make that happen. Um, I'm very optimistic that that should happen uh, fairly soon. Grateful for his department's hard work throughout the year, he wanted directly to thank his personnel. For everything they've been doing over these past two and a half years during the pandemic and what they continue to do every day. Uh, and I also want to thank their families for providing them the love and support so that they can continue to do the mission of the Guam Fire Department. Jonah Gancharfis, KUM News.